A new app wants to create a global database of your weird dreams. Have you ever woken up from a deep sleep sounding a lot like this kid? Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything? Yes. That dream, I have that one too. I think we all have. But unfortunately, the majority of the time, no matter how exciting, your dreams are lost, quickly fading from memory before you have a chance to write it down or corner your coworker to describe the crazy dream you had the night before, which is always super awkward anyway. Well, a forthcoming app called Shadow wants to create a database out of all your dreams. Shadow is a Kickstarter project launched last week and combines an alarm clock with a dream journal. The app will use an escalating alarm to gradually bring you out of the state where dreams are best remembered. The app then prompts you to record what happened in whatever way is most convenient for you, voice or text. And what happens next? From there, we'll push the dream to a big data cloud so we can anonymously organize the global data to identify major themes and trends. True comprehension comes when the dots are revealed and we see the big picture. Now the Japanese sleep the least, but do they dream the least? Or what do women in Moscow dream about? Or what do kids in Sao Paulo dream about? We feel this is a huge data set that's literally being forgotten every night. But just in case you're thinking, wait a minute, I have a lot of dreams I should probably keep to myself. The shadow makers say they are stored only within the app and you can share your dream content as much or as little as you want. So if you're interested in learning more about the global dreamscape or just want to see who else out there is having that one weird dream about Jokatron and the... Never mind. You can donate to Android, iOS, or Windows, and whichever version raises the most money will be built first. What do you think of this project? Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. And on today's Tech Assassin Reloaded, Richard Ryan gets a visit from Steve Zaragoza of SourceFed Nerd. Just click the link to the left. For TFN, this is Annie.